The call instruction causes a subroutine to execute at a certain point during the scan. It is RLO independent and can be used for FCs, FBs, SFCs, and SFBs. For the first example, let's call a function without parameter passing. We'll call the block FC14 and press the Enter key. Next, we will call a block with parameter passing. We will call FC4 and press the Enter key. Formal parameters for FC calls show in red, which means an actual parameter must be passed before the block can be saved or downloaded. Hover your mouse over the formal parameter to see its data type. This formal parameter is an input with data type integer. Let's type the integer value 212 as the actual parameter and press the Enter key. Next, we will call a function block. It's very important to note that when calling a function block in statement list, you first type FB and the block's number, followed by a comma, and then type DB, followed by the number you want to assign for the instance data block. Let's make a call to FB11, attach instance data block 25, and press the Enter key. The instance data block does not yet exist, and the editor asks if you want it created for you. Choose Yes. The FB's formal parameters do not turn red, because if actual parameters are not assigned, the values will be obtained from instance data block 25. Point to the first parameter on off to see that it's a data type Boolean input. We will assign the actual parameter input 0.3 and press the Enter key. Point to the second formal parameter interval to see that it is also an input of data type Boolean. We will assign the actual parameter input 0.4 and press the Enter key. Point to the last formal parameter running light to see that it is an in out parameter of data type byte. We will assign the value input byte 1 and press the Enter key. Now save the block. After making a call to an FB, don't forget to download the associated data block first, then the FB that is called, then the block containing the FB call. Each block must be in the CPU when it is called or the CPU will fault. This concludes the video on using the STL call instruction for functions and function blocks.